Gucci G, it's your boy Fist in his house, bringing another great edition of Call of Duty for me to you, because, hey, that's what I like to do, yes, hey, I've been on my little mini gaming vacation, you know, I, I've been talking about it the last couple videos, you guys knows what's up, he knows what's up, I don't know what the hell I'm even talking about, but, uh, yeah, I just, um, I popped in uh, Call of Duty 4, because I wanted to play the purest form. Look at that drop shot just works so perfect. You know, when you go to the ground in this game, there's a lot of things in this game that are perfect. You know, I hate to be the guy to be like, Oh, you're talking about Call of Duty 4. Everybody's just saying it's the best Call of Duty. Well, here's the... I mean, a lot of people don't realize these things. There's no flinching in this game. You know, I mean, you're... You're... The end of your barrel has a 50 pound weight on it you know what I mean it's not flinching all over I mean this is a quintessential video game you know what I mean there's like a there's a line between realism and and you know a video game having fun and then ha you know having it work really really well so I'm like you know I just I just think with uh, West and Zampella and it's funny by the way right before they're trial they got paid another 66 million dollars i think it was total like they got a total of 80 million dollars for their call of duty idea which made three billion dollars they got eight they got a consolation prize of 88 million dollars their lawyers like it's cynical that they do that but you know call, activision does that shit like any any type of bad news comes out x double xp you know like it's some big gift to us or some shit i don't know but the gift to me to this about this game the real gift was, you know, having everything work. You know, there's no ground. I mean, the only ground shaking you get in this game is when a airstrike comes and drops 500 pound bombs on the ground. Not like grenades 10 miles away from you shaking your ground and your character goes all up in the air shooting and, and shit like that, you know. This game, this, this game has a great mix of you know what people think may be real and video game it's there's like a big difference you know people play like arma or the other games out there they're like super hard and they're real and shit and like what a very few handful of people will take the time to learn those games of you know a select few so it's really not fun you're not playing anybody but when you play games like this and they look like they're real and they play like they're real then it's fun for everybody and I think you, when you look at the, all the old Call of Duties, all the rest of them, yeah, explosions. I mean, they, they tested out explosions. Let me, let me tell you, Call of Duty is still um, a changing game. So, uh, you know, I mean, sometimes when you first do something, or when, you, when your idea first comes in your head, or your thought was to do something, usually the first thought in your head is always the right thought. The first process of you know making something right is always right and then when they start changing it and kept you know messing with it I mean the point that you're here and the reason that you're here is because it's working so anyways going back to this flinching and ground shaking and, and all this other stuff I mean these, these guns just pop you put on the target pop 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 and you know the thing about this is here's the trade-off in this game is the reload time there was no, there was no fast reload unless you wanted to trade, trade away, um, trade away, you know, uh, stopping power. But the thing is, they gave you enough bullets, so you didn't have to worry about all those little situations. Now you got like reload really fast, and this great, this game, I mean, it had the right mixture. I mean, little things like that. Everybody had to reload the same time. No one was flinching. You know, when you both put the aim on each other, that's it. Whoever had the better shot wins. Not if somebody gets a, a lucky shot on you and your fucking gun goes up in the air and then all of a sudden you that's it, you die. I mean that's I mean it's kind of lucky in a video game, really. I mean it's a little bit of a luck or draw. It's more or less, you know, if you're both aiming at each other and whoever got the best aim and movement, they should win. Not the luck of a, a mechanic in the game. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Anyways. Those are the difference I see in Call of Duty. Maybe that's why I put it in. You know, I just I just love refreshing things that work all together. Anyways, until next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace! I'm out!